Hi, this is uh, Fred with Quality One Engravers. Uh, I'm in Casmate Pro here, and it, this is just a blank screen. And I'm going to show you how to engrave to our Q3X or the Q3D controller. Uh, the first thing that we're going to go is we're going to go into Setup. And on your computer, it may already be set up, but uh, the Concept2 driver and the Q&E2000 are available to you. The Concept2000 uh, driver, we use that for Make Logo, so for the ME3 PC program. So you'll use this in order to create logos, and you're actually going to plot these to a hard drive. But this driver, the Q&E2000, that, that I have set up on COM1, if you go down here to Settings, uh, and you go to Description, you can set your table size and your width and all of these other things are actually already preset for you 4,000 steps per inch uh, even though it says 399.99 and the axis is top right and the communication you really only have your whatever COM ports you have available and the fastest baud rate that you can deliver the data is 19200 and 8.1 hardware okay and these DTR, RTS, and clear to send should be checked. And then just say OK. And then OK. And you can set this as your default. Uh, I'm going to leave my concept 2 as my default because that's what I use. But anyways, if you did want this, when you click on set as default, and, and you can select other than that. Now, the next trick is you go under miscellaneous, and you have to define your material. So I'm going to define my material as an 8 by four and then say okay and here's my eight by four plate so I'm going to type something in one two three four five I can select this text and change it to an engraving font all my fonts start with the letter Q so if I want uh, this to be in Old English I can apply it and close so I can swipe through this one and make that correct so here's here's your what you want to engrave and here's the bounding box that you have available to you and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this plotter icon and right here it says that it's in the plotter concept 2 condition which in if you're doing engraving that's not what you want so I'm going to click over here on that plot mate option change it to Q&E 2000 and you can plot from here but I've had issues so I always just accept parameters and then you're gonna click on this tool to send it to the engraver now before you do this uh, unfortunately Casmate or Scanvec did not write a driver for me uh, after the concept 2000 so this is actually a 2d driver that's being uh, transmitted to my controller and I take this 2D data and turn it into something that's usable on the Q3X and Q3D controller. So you have to turn it, you have to tell the controller that it's planning on receiving Casmate data. And the way to do that, you're going to press the toggle key, which is the lower right hand corner, and simultaneously press the number one if you have a Q3X. If you have the Q3D, you're going to press the toggle key release and then press the number one key to get into the toggle one menu and I'm not sure which entry it is I believe it's the second one that has the software you'll press the number two key or toggle the number two is what I use as a term so you'll press the number two until it says casmate and then you'll just press the enter or the stop key a couple of times to get back out and you will see a letter C appear on line number two so your line number two might appear something like 111, 50, uh, 19K, uh, C, and then the P1 for parameter one. So if it has that C in it, it's ready to accept the Casmate, and it will automatically change it to the 19200 baud rate. And it will, again, will only run via the serial port. So you click on this icon here, and it will uh, will send typically to the engraver. I hope this helps.